Hey, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's take a look and see. Should you stay or go? What happens if you stay? What happens if you go? So if you've been wondering about it, let's take a look. But keep in mind, this is a general message. Please do not make any decisions based off of a general message, okay? And always use your own judgment, your own intuition um, when you make some you know some type of move all right so let's see air air signs if you stay in a situation how is your partner going to show up how are they going to show up in the relationship the ace of sword okay it's making me think about the water sign reading this is clarity this person's going to come in with communication clarity wanting to speak the truth very similar to um, the water signs, okay? Let me get one more. How is this person going to show up? Okay. What flipped over was the Nine of Pentacles here. I'm going to put it back, but I feel with the Nine of Pentacles flipping over, this person could be showing up very single or, you know, this person could be very um, secure in the fact that they are telling you the truth or that they are you know, coming to you with clarity. So this could, this could, you know, this person wanting to bring a sense of security, or like I said, they could be completely single as well. All right, um, all right. How does this person show up if you guys stay in a relationship? Seven of Cups. Okay. So this person, even though they're coming to bring clarity, um, communication, and there's something with the Nine of pentacles with you know either being single or some sense of security somebody who is kind of independent self-sufficient there's also the seven of cups so this could be someone who is showing up either having a lot of options or still trying to decide make decisions you know what is the seven of cups for the the person air sign is dealing with here okay What's the Seven of Cups? This could be someone who's a bit confused. Seven of Cups, I'm the hermit in the reverse. So this could be someone being forced to, um, I don't know, are they being forced to come to be open or they're being forced to, how, how do I say this with you guys, with the, with the hermit? Because in, in the upright, this is someone who's going into solitude, going into seclusion. This person is um, getting wisdom, gaining introspective. This, in reverse, this is someone who could be withdrawing. They could be forced into withdrawal or isolation, being sad and paranoid. So there's something going on here with this person, with them being confused, with them being paranoid and withdrawing so i don't know if this person is withdrawing from these other options is that that could be what it is can i get clarity on this seven of wands okay so for some of you air signs the person who you're dealing with they're going to show up in the relationship as as withdrawing from all these other options and and setting boundaries with people seven of wands being very protective also like let building up the courage to face some type of fear or isolate themselves from something that at some point may not have been healthy because the seven of cups could deal with temptations okay so okay how do you show up air signs if you decide to stay in the connection how do you feel how do you show up seven of swords okay air signs i feel like this is not saying that you're going to be sneaky i mean you could be this makes me feel like you're going to be uncertain you're going to be uncertain so you're going to be holding back information you're going to be kind of tiptoeing you can you know it's like because you're not sure you're going to be um, very cautious and holding on to maybe information, may, maybe kind of watching. And you may even come off as suspicious to this person, though, 
um, air signs. This person might be looking at you like you are on some sneaky business. The Emperor. And it's because you're trying to gain control of a situation. You're not really going to be showing a whole lot of emotion. This, this Emperor doesn't show a whole lot of emotion because he doesn't want to be vulnerable. And I'm feeling like you're coming in this energy um, where you're going to be taking authority. You're going to be um, trying to protect yourself because the emperor is very protective of what's around them. This could also, you know, you could be a masculine. I could be talking to a masculine or a feminine. But it's like you're going to be enforcing structure. And if you don't see what you want to see here, it looks like with the seven of swords, you move on very quickly. To get, to get the heck out of Dodge. That's how you're showing up. And I don't know if that's a healthy energy. I mean, the emperor, yes, you're setting up structure and boundaries. Um, not really showing a whole lot because you don't trust the situation. But I do see that this person is going to be putting in some work to eliminate. If you were dealing with uh, third parties or something like that, I, I see this person withdrawing from certain things. Temptations, lust, desires, something here that, that was catching this person's attention. They are now blocking it all. So I see you being very guarded and very watchful of whether this person can be trusted here. Um, air signs, all right? So let's see. What's, what happens if your person leaves? What's going to happen with them if you guys decide to break up? How is this person going to be? Five of Pentacles. They're going to feel left out in the cold. They may be actually without the resources that they need. Because the Five of Pentacles is someone who may have lost a job. This person may be having money problems. Or this person is going to be very worried and disappointed. Okay? With the Devil... And the Five of Swords, this person may resort back to some type of uh, behaviors with the devil. The devil can indicate some type of addictions, um, you know, patterns of behavior that are not productive, not positive. And that's what's coming out. This person may resort to doing things that are very toxic, okay? Fears, addiction, be getting in their ego. Being very material, you know, materialistic, but with the five of swords, this makes me feel like this person may become very petty, very um, what do you call it? Like obsessive. Okay. And with that five of swords, this person may try to win at all costs against you. Like there might be some type of you may have a problem with this person, okay? Knight of Pentacles. This is someone who, you know, is going to want to put in the hard work and effort to get you back or they may, it may take them a lot of hard work to build some type of stability for themselves. Take it how it resonates, but I'm looking at the devil with the five of swords or somebody who could be an obs obsessive. This could be someone with who may try to get you back or do something um, that creates a conflict or this person is feeling like they lost and and I mean, yeah, it could resort to some type of fear or something with that if you guys don't, you know, be together. How are you going to handle it? Let's take a look. The four of wands. See, you're going to be in a better situation, comfortable, stable, celebrating, building some type of foundation for some of you, you know. This could be like a new residence or something, moving, eight of pentacles, focus on work, putting your effort into other things that that grow for you. So you're going to be focused on building your, um, your foundation, like your home, your work, whatever kind of uh, craft that you're into. It's like you're going to be putting your energy into that. So it looks like air signs, you're going to be just fine here. That's what it looks like. The hangman in reverse. You're going to be no longer stuck. No longer, you know, trying to figure something out is what I'm getting here for you, air signs. Where you may have been stuck in the past with the situation. I feel like you let it go. And this is like, um, but see, normally the hangman in reverse is delays and, and you feel like missed opportunity. But I feel like this is you letting go. And 
you know, not sacrificing yourself anymore, focusing on you. This could also feel like make, you know, this could also be like you feeling like you missed this opportunity. You may have a bit of sadness. It may be challenging you for you to let it go, but it looks like you end up focusing on other things. You know, you could be a little confused about it, though, with that hangman in the reverse. I feel like at one point you're okay, and then the next minute, you know, but that's normal. You know, you go through those wave of emotions here, but I see you coming out okay. I really do. Um, what's the advice that you need to consider when it comes to making this decision? The Three of Pentacles. Can this really work? Will of Fortune. If this comes back around, will it be good? Will, you know, will, will there be change here? Can you two really work together to, you know, fix the issues here? Three of Pentacles is about teamwork and cooperation, or will there be egos clashing? The Wheel of Fortune you need to consider is, you know, is there good or bad karma coming from dealing with this situation? King of Pentacles is coming out here. The King of Pentacles is someone who's stable, grounded, prosperous. For some of you, what you need to consider is another offer that's coming around to you by a King of Pentacles. Okay, this is someone who's coming in um, and they're, they're very stable, they're very solid, and they're very determined to win. They're very determined to, um, to build this family foundation. This is someone who's committed. And with you already in this Four of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, this is someone who I feel will um, complement your life, you know. Yeah, so some of you have an opportunity to meet someone in a much better energy here, okay? And it's up to you, air signs, okay? It's up to you what you want to do with that. But let me get one more on this King of Pentacles. Who is this King of Pentacles here? But this could be you, considering your stability here. Four of Pentacles with the Five of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This is something here that... This is like a new passionate beginning, but with the um, the Four of Pentacles, you know, you may be holding back, you know, you may hold back from this situation, or you might, you know, be focused on security, or this person is coming to try to bring some sense of security into your life after you going through some loss or disappointment. This King of Pentacles could have experienced loss himself, and he could be, you know, getting a new inspiration. This could be you, but I'm getting somebody here who didn't become the King of Pentacles overnight. They, they, they overcome some losses, some disappointments. This could be someone with the Ace of Wands who has, um, they, they're great at manifesting. Someone manifests you or they manifest um, some opportunity. Yeah, so air signs, yeah. Um, somebody here could, could be a bit of a miser though. They could have money but kind of be stingy. So you might meet someone who you know, they're very secure and stable, but they may hold back. They may not really let you know. <laughs> Possibly because they're afraid of losses here with the Five of Cups coming out here. They're afraid of uh, being disappointed. Yeah. All right, so Air Signs, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, uh, let me know, okay? I'll see you guys on the next one.